Hello, we're here with Slava. Take a first look at uh, Lyra. Lyra is a DPoS proof of concept that we've been working on for a little bit here. A uh, white paper published about a month ago and we already have a pretty decent proof of concept working. So, Slava's got it pulled up on his computer. So what do we have running here, Slava? So we've got uh, local Lira node running here and a sin single node testnet on this node. And we have already run a few clients here, so we, we can we can connect multiple clients to to single node. And uh, I guess we're gonna see how how to create uh, custom uh, custom tokens on Lira. Uh, we can see that this process it's really easy and fast. And we're gonna see, we're gonna demonstrate the transaction speed. We can see the transaction is uh, almost instant on, on, on Lira. So, so let's use this new account. We, we just started the new client, so let's name this account. So this is new account for Quickie Mark. So this account has a, a zero balance right now, one more time, sorry, yeah, zero balance because it's a new account, so in order to create custom token we need some grafts here because this operation costs some, uh, right now it's 100 grafts, okay, so we need to send uh, at least 100, 100 grafts to this account, so you take this public Key, the, the, basically this is the account address or wallet address so we send from my account we send to, to this new account uh, let's say 200 graph okay. so you can see how fast transaction was nice. processed so we've got 200 graphs on this account now. Now we want to create custom token for this uh, quick emerge, right? So there's a simple command token. Uh, let's enter token ID. What, which one you want to use for, for this token? Let's say loyalty. Loyal. Loyal. Okay. So short description. It can be empty just for, for demo. Long description, enter supply, how many tokens you want to, to generate? To 10 million. 10 million, okay. Uh, let's do precision two, just for simplicity. Let's do final supply. And now we've got 10 million loyalty tokens on your account. You can see both 100 graphs. Mm -hmm. remaining after the first transaction and one million dollars to token so now you can send me let's say 200 tokens from from your loyalty tokens to my account so we do send we take uh, my account id i don't remember so i, I put the id command to see the account id Copy it here. And how many you want to send? Two hundred. That's all right. Okay. Two hundred loyalty tokens. So we need to put loyalty here. Okay. Now you can see two hundred loyalty tokens on my account. And if you notice, transaction was almost instant. Nice. It's pretty much instant. Yeah, so, so the, there are two concepts uh, actually here that we are trying to prove that first we can create multiple tokens and it's pretty easy process. There's no limit for number of tokens. And uh, transaction is almost instant for, for both main token graft and, and for any custom token. 
So multi tokens are the same accounts, instant transactions. Uh, you're working on privacy next and also voting, right? right? It's cool. So overall, just how would you, if we were to recount all the advantages that uh, Lira has, all the features, all the main features, what would you say they are? So one of the main features that we can see here as well, basically, that uh, the, the account uh, uh, unlike uh, typical blockchain like uh, Bitcoin or Monero or Graph, uh, this is not a blockchain, it's a, it's a chain collection. So, so each account has its own blockchain. So for single account, for example, for, for, for your account, in your account right now there, there are only two, three blocks. And that's only the blocks that are required for, for creating new transactions. Uh -huh. Which means that it, it, it's really simple to implement uh, light clients, like mobile clients or even smart card clients. So the only thing that this client needs is, is the last block from, from its own account. That's it. It doesn't need to see the entire blockchain in order to generate transactions. That's super cool. So that means that it can work fully functionally on a mobile device are requiring right. the, the bulk of the blockchain. Right. It can be absolutely. And it does need a web wallet, which is more. Yes, it can be absolutely disconnected even from the network, in order to create new transactions. So right. for, example, for example, it can be smart cards that's not connected to, to any host application. It has the last block for its own account, and based on this block, it can generate a new transaction, and another transaction, another transaction. And it can delete all previous blocks. It only needs the last block. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. So chain collection is, is awesome. That's, that's definitely a big step forward. Uh, and tying that together with privacy and, and with uh, the DPoS, right. that's that's not that's that's the first time that's that's been done in, in that combination, right? Yes. Yes. The next step is going to be privacy implemented on, on chain collection using CryptoNode and, and uh, Monero, other Monero technologies. Um, and there are some additional steps that we're going to publish soon in, in the next post about Lira Progress. Very cool. Very cool. All right, that's that's it for now. We'll uh, we'll get back on.